Hey guys, I'm coming at you today with air drying hair and um, I wanted to do my last installment of the Thaw Food and Drink Inspired Eye Looks. Um, I'm just getting ready today to take two of my sons for sports physicals for school and um, it is two days before Thanksgiving. It obviously won't be when you see this. <laughs> um, I'm having a really good day so far because something really awesome happened today, but you will find out about that later. And um, so yeah, I thought I would just go ahead and do my final look in this series with you and let's do it. Today is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be all matte and I'm going to be using, I decided I wanted to use some palettes that I've been neglecting a little bit. And um, so I pulled these particular palettes out. I already knew what my food was that I was going to, it's not food, it is a food, <laughs> um, was that I was going to base my look off of. And so fortunately, colors that I needed were in these palettes because I was like, yay, I wanted to use those. So I'm basing my eye look today off of sweet potato pie. If you haven't had sweet potato pie, you are missing out. It is delicious. I am not a pumpkin pie fan. So if you also don't like pumpkin pie, don't think, ooh, like sweet potato pie is the same thing. It's not. Um, so I do not really care for pumpkin pie. I love sweet potato pie though. So that's why I thought I would do my look off of sweet potato pie. Plus pumpkin pie has kind of an ugly color orange. And I wanted to do like a fun color orange, which sweet potato pie has. So I am going to be using two of my um, BH Cosmetics palettes. These kind of hold a special place in my heart because last September was when I really started getting into makeup more. And at Christmas last year, I had my husband get me a few palettes that I had watched some things on YouTube about and whatever and um, thought would be a good starting place for me. So these palettes are some of the very first palettes that I really got to start doing makeup with. So I wanted to show them some love. And they are the BH Cosmetics Neutralize 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette and the Modern Neutrals color 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. And... So this one has pretty much all shades of brown, which actually comes in pretty darn handy because there's like every shade you can think of. And then just this random pop of pink for fun or something, but I've used it several times. But as you can see, this palette has been well loved. I do dig into this palette. So um, it has been a while though. So that's why I wanted to pull it back out. And then in the Modern Neutrals palette, we have a little more color to play with. And these oranges will be perfect for what I want to do today. So it's going to be a fairly simple look because I don't need anything super fancy today. And I thought for some of you who might like just a little more chill kind of look. Um, and with all mats because I have not done all mats in a while. So I am going to just go ahead and do this like I always do. And I'll see you on the other side.
Okay, you guys, I am going to be completely honest. It has been a while since I've used these. And I guess now after using like better quality shadows, I'm more able to see the flaws in this. Um, extremely powdery and dry. And if you try to blend out the colors, they just go away. Which obviously, like I said, I got these when I was first starting out. So I wasn't, you know, like didn't know like blending and stuff like that yet. And now that I'm using them now that I've been doing makeup for a while, they are not what I remember them being, unfortunately. So would I recommend picking these palettes up? I honestly wouldn't. Um, even if you don't have a lot of money to spend on makeup, go for Wet n Wild or something like that. Honestly, would be a much better choice. Or a smaller, like a ColourPop palette because their formula is amazing. Something like that because these just are not, they're not cutting it. I would liken the orange shades to being like putting on Cheeto dust on my eyelids because they were just dusty and falling everywhere and powder, you might have even seen it. I could see it while I was doing it, like powdery stuff flying everywhere. So did I get sweet potato pie or did I get Cheeto dust? You can be the judge of that. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, do my hair, get dressed, and I will be back to show you the finished look. Well, unfortunately, the look did not turn out as I had hoped, but you still get the main gist of what I was trying to do with the whole, um, you know, sweet potato pie themed look. So this is what the final look ended up like. I went ahead and added just a thin line of black um, liquid liner on my upper lash line, which I am terrible at, which you can probably see. So that's something I definitely need to keep working on. And um, yeah, is this my favorite look? Absolutely not. But hey, not every look turns out and I am not going to take all my makeup off and do it over again. <laughs> so um, this is my sweet potato pie inspired eye look and the last in the series of the fall food and drink inspired eye looks. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little series and um, <clears throat> that you've just had fun with it. I have and this is real life. Not everything turns out the way that you hope it will. So I guess two things that you can get from this are one, try new things, try out different, you can totally do this type of a look with a different brand of eyeshadow, um, which I probably will because I do like it. It's just the actual shadows themselves were not great. And number two, do not purchase those BH Cosmetics palettes. Very dry, very like tons of kick up and fallout and like they're just kind of a mess. And I don't think that they will last on my lids very long. So that will be the test. I'll put it um, in the description box or in the video here or something let you know if they faded really fast or not but I have a feeling they're going to and I have eyeshadow primer on and stuff like I always do so um, on my lips I just decided to do the Fenty gloss bomb just to keep it nice and simple and that is my look so if you like this video and the series please give this video a thumbs up if you didn't you can give it a thumbs down and if you're new to my channel i hope you'll stick around and that you'll want to subscribe and um if you're already a subscriber of mine thank you so much for being here yet again and just watching my sometimes disastrous outcomes of things <laughs> um like the cheeto dust eye look so you can call this what you want sweet potato pie inspired or cheeto dust you know whatever. It's a win-win, right? They're both good. But so thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.